Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. It is the 20th of August, the 12th Sunday after Pentecost, and we're going to be able to start today without me having to show or comment on any of the flora or fauna. Be welcome and come in. for you. For those who you want, and we're letting a single candle handle so many of the prayers for today. It's not a Bishop Charleston one. This from a gentleman named George Dawson, 1821-1876. Almighty God, we bless and praise thee that we have wakened to the light of another earthly day. And now we will think of what a day should be. Our days are thine. Let them be spent for thee. Our days are few. Let them be spent with care. There are dark days behind us. Forgive their sinfulness. There may be dark days before us. Strengthen us for their trials. We pray thee to shine on this day, the day which we may call our own. Lord, we go to our daily work. Help us to take pleasure therein. Show us clearly what our duty is. Help us to be faithful in doing it. Let all we do be well done, fit for thine eye to see. Give us strength to do, patience to bear. Let our courage never fail. When we cannot love our work, let us think of it as thy task, and by our true love to thee, make unlovely things shine in the light of thy great love. Amen. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice in it. Amen. 